Praise the Lord, boys and girls. It is another new day that the Lord has blessed us. And here we are today to glorify the Lord for all the good things he has done to us. And so kindly, I would invite each one of you. I know you are in mommy's house. Please, can you stand up? Make sure you have your own place because we will sing and praise the Lord together. Stand up, boys and girls. Thank you for standing up. We are going to sing one song. And this song, it is about our faith, what we believe in, and what the word of the Lord says to us about it. So I know you have a friend who is called Jesus. I want us, let us sing that song together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tell me so. Little ones belong to him, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tell me so. The Bible tells us about how Jesus loves us. And because now we have confessed that Jesus loves us, let us put our hands together so that we can pray. And then we continue with our lesson for today. Hands together, boys and girls. We have to humble ourselves before the Lord. Thank you for putting your hands together. Let's believe and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before thy throne of mercy with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for loving us. And this day, we commit ourselves into your able hands. We ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, to help us, even to understand what we are going to learn today and give us the wisdom, the knowledge, to put the word into practice, that we will be the doers of the word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Today, it's a special day for each one of us. I know the Lord has taken care of us. The coronavirus is not our portion. We are safe. We are secure. We are protected in Jesus' name. And today, I want us to talk about shapes. To talk about shapes. There is nothing which is shapeless. You have a shape. I also have a shape. And we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We have the best shape. Can you touch yourself and you say, I have the best shape or I am the best shape. And for those boys and girls who go to school, we learned about so many shapes. Did we? Which shape can you remember? Yes, boys and girls, which shape? Even when you, 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 you are in college, the shape remains the same. When you are in university, the shape remains the, the same. The shapes does not change. While you are in baby class, you learn about those shapes. While you are in class 8, the shapes were still there. And today I want us to talk about circle shape. Have you ever seen a circle shape? That circle shape, does it have a door? Does it have a window? Yes. Does it have a door? No. Does it have a window? No. It is complete. It, it, it doesn't have a shape. It doesn't have a door, sorry. And it doesn't have a window. It is a circle shape. And today, I want to ask you, is this a, a circle shape? 
Is it a circle shape? No. Because it is not complete. A circle has to be complete. And because I know you have ever seen that circle. And for us, when we go to the field, we play with a circle. There is a game. We use the hula hu. That is a circle. Yes. And today I want to talk about that circle, which is a circle of blessing. When you think about that circle, you are inside your hula hu. And when you are playing your hula hu, you are there inside. And when you are out of it, are you playing the, with the hula hu? No. Because you have to be inside the circle. And today, I want us to think about that circle. And that circle, when we are inside that circle, we are protected. Why? Because we are good boys and good girls who follow instruction. When we are playing outside there with our friends, Whatever kind of a game that we play together has rules. At home, mommy has set up rules. When we go to school, we know there are rules in school. We also have the traffic rules. Even in our church, when we come to the Sunday school class, there are rules also to be followed. Why? Because we serve God of order. And God loves that so much. And he made sure. He has given us also, as his children, he has given us also rules to follow. And we can remember, long time ago, Moses was given the rules by God. And we know how many, how many of them can we remember, boys and girls? Yes, very good. Yes, there are 10 of them. God gave, us, gave Moses the 10 commandments. And those 10 commandments, today we want to look at only one among the 10. And that one, it is the fifth commandment. And I've written here. You can see the, you can see fifth law. Another name for law, it is rule. So we know there are ten commandments, but today we are going to talk about the fifth commandment that God gave us through Moses. Why? Because that commandment, it has blessings. When we follow the com that commandment, we will be blessed. And for you and me to be blessed, we have to know it. We have to follow. We have to do what it says. And now, I want to take you back to the circle of blessings. What are we supposed to do for us to be blessed as the little boys and girls who are growing up? About the fifth commandment, what does it say? In the Bible, we learn the, the fifth commandment. It says, honor your father and your mother. That is what it says. And your father and your mother, it is not only the mommy in the house. When we go to school, we find our teachers there. Those also are our parents. When we go to church, we find our pastors, we find the big boys and girls, those also are our friends and they are our sister and our brother. We are supposed to obey what they tell us because we want to remain in the circle of blessings. 
Because if we do not obey the, 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 the rules, then we will be breaking the commandment. And when we, we break, we say we have disobeyed. And there is a punishment when you disobey. But when you obey, there is a blessing. And for today, I want us to look at this circle of blessings. Can you see the circle of blessing? This is my big ulau. And when I'm inside this ulau, when I'm playing and I follow the rules, I'll be blessed. Why? Because I will not break the rules. And if you disobey your mom, mom says, today make sure you brush your teeth. That's a rule in the house. You have to obey. When you obey, you remain inside the circle of blessings because you have obeyed. What if you do not obey what mommy says? You'll be outside the circle of blessing. So you will not receive God's blessing. And that's what the devil does in our lives. He will make sure now you are not protected because you did not obey what mommy says. There is a rule in the house and mommy says, make sure your room is well arranged. And you make sure there is nothing which is dirty on the floor. As a good boy and a girl, you make sure you obey what mommy has said. If you will not obey that, my friend, let me tell you, you will be also outside the circle of blessing. So your blessings are becoming fewer and fewer when you disobey. Also, when you, are, when you go to school and teacher says, keep quiet in class, and then you do not keep quiet, what will you be doing, boys and girls? I want us to look at this chart here. Can you see? These are little boys and girls, and they are in class. The teacher is there teaching them. Like the way now I'm teaching the word of God. And you are in mommy's house. And I know during your birthday, or one of the days, you are given a present because of obeying. And now, teacher, she's here teaching. Instead of listening to the teacher, we are playing with our toys. And the rule says, when the teacher is teaching, you look at the teacher. Boys and girls, as we are good, we are born again. We follow the rules. I know you are looking at teacher because you want to be blessed with the word of the Lord today so that you can be the doer of the word. Now, if you will disobey and the teacher is teaching, you take your nice toy and you start playing with it. Will you be obeying or disobeying? Yes, you'll be disobeying. And when you disobey, there is a punishment. Either mommy will take her master discipline because she wants to have a good boy or a good girl, and she will remove all the bad manners by applying the master discipline on your hand, or mommy will say, lie on the floor. I want to have a good boy and a good girl who will go to heaven because disobeying is not our portion. We have to honor what mommy and daddy says so that we can be blessed by the Lord because that is the only commandment that has a blessing. And what does it say? If you look at teacher, 
in your class or mommy in the house and mommy talks to you and then you turn away. You don't want to do what mommy is saying. You don't want to do what your brother is saying. You don't want to do what your sister is telling you to do. What will you be doing? You will be, you will be working outside the circle of blessing. And at the end of the day, look, the blessings are flying away. Why? Because we, we are not obeying the word of God. We need to obey the word of God so that our blessings can be with us wherever we go. And now I want us to look at the word of God in the book of Ephesians. Chapter 6, and we will read verse 1 and 3. And this is what it says. Ephesians 6, verse 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first of the ten commandments ends with a promise. And this is the promise. If you honor your father and mother, you will live a long life full of blessings. That is what the word of the Lord says today. That if we honor our parents, we will remain in the circle of blessing. And when we remain in the circle of blessings, our life as we grow up, God will bless us. We will be doing the right thing at the right time. We will be found playing with good friends because we have to obey. The first thing is to obey. And you obey without asking questions, without murmuring. When you are told to switch off the TV, it is time to go to sleep, you do it immediately. You don't start telling mommy, oh, mommy, please add me three minutes. Obey fast. And when you obey, your blessing will remain because you are within the circle of blessing. And you choose good friends. When you choose good friends, wherever you'll be going you are with your friends, they will be good to you because you have chosen the good friends. But if you choose bad friends, they will tell you bad things and they will make you to miss your blessing because you will not be obeying what the Lord says about you. And we want to remain in the circle of blessing. And the Bible has reminded us today, if we obey and if we honor our father and our mother, we will live a long life. And this long life, it is even when you are old, remember to honor your parents. Even when you are in university, remember to honor your parents. Why? Because if you do that, you will be blessed. And you will live many years. And your life will be good. Even if things, bad things will happen on the way, the Lord will be with you. Because when you obey, you are protected. You are inside the circle of protection. You will be saved. Wherever you will go, the Lord will go with you. Why? Because you chose to honor your father and your mother. You chose to be obedient. And the other thing I would like to tell you is when your friend tells you to disobey, you tell him or her, no, 
I have to honor the word of God so that I can live many, many, many years. And these many, many years, the Lord will make sure your life will be good. You will be blessed with good memory. You will be able to do good work. And wherever you will go, you will be shining. Your behavior will be good and people will desire and say, I wish this is my baby. I wish this is my boy. I wish this is my girl. Why? Because you chose to obey what the Lord has commanded us in his word about the fifth law. And as we have seen that wherever we go, there are rules. There is the traffic rule. When you go to, to, when you want to cross the road, you can't just cross. You have to observe the traffic rule. Why? Because you want to obey. And because we are good boys and girls, when we continue obeying, our circle of blessing will be full. If you disobey, that circle of blessing will be broken like this. And when the circle is broken, you will not enjoy protection because you are protected when you are inside the circle, when you are obeying your parent. Now, if you disobey, you will not be inside the circle of blessing. Outside there, it is dangerous. Okay, boys and girls, many bad things happen outside the circle. Because now it is broken, the devil will make sure bad boys will be talking to you, bad girls will start talking to you, bad people will start calling you bad names, and you will feel bad in your heart. Why? Because now the circle is broken. The joy is of the Lord is no longer in your heart. But Jesus, if you tell Jesus you are sorry, he will forgive you and he will make sure your circle is complete again and you will continue operating within this circle of blessing. Is that okay, boys and girls? So, for today... Our memory verse, I want us to practice Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. And as we can see on this picture of ours, we can see this beautiful girl, we can see the mother here, and she decided, because we are not supposed to go to school, I'll skip inside the house. Oh my, and mommy is not happy because now the, the baby is skipping inside the house. And the baby, mama, mommy is telling her daughter, please do not play your, your rope inside the house. Just go outside and play just where mommy will direct you to play, but not inside the house. So mommy is not happy. And mommy is telling the girl, can you make sure you pick all the things that you are playing with and go with them outside. Play outside there where mommy will be watching over you and you will be safe. You will be obeying Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 that says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. That is our duty boys and girls, to obey our parents. And when we obey them, we will be in the right circle, protected of the Lord, we will be safe inside the circle, enjoying the blessings of the Lord, because we are gift to our parents and God's gift adds no sorrow. So today know that you are called to obey your parents. Respect them, 
Honor them, listen what they are telling you, follow what they are telling you to do. And at the end of the day, you'll be in the safe place. Is that okay, boys and girls? Good. Now, for the little angels, I want you to practice Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. That is your memory verse. And for the big ones, your memory verse will be Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Please put that into practice. Ask the Lord to help you and the Lord will do it. Because you are the best of the Lord. We love you so much and your parents love you so much. They pray for you that you remain within the circle of blessings. Because if you not obey them, oh my, all the blessings will be taken away like this. But if you remain within this circle of blessing, you will enjoy your life. And that is the lesson that we have for today. And it is my prayer that boys and girls, we will remain faithful and we will follow the word of the Lord. I'm also a child. I have also to obey my mommy and I have also to obey my daddy. Is that okay, boys and girls? I'm also a baby. When I go home, my mommy calls me baby. Is that okay? So, even when you grow up, you remain faithful to your parents and the Lord is watching over your life and he will pour blessings upon your life. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and do you good. I know we are still exercising, we are still putting on our mask, we are still washing our hands, and we are still keeping distance and praying that corona will go and soon we will be back in school, back in the chat and enjoy what we will be doing together. Let us stand so that we can pray. Thank you for standing. Let's put our hands together and let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before thy throne of mercy. We thank you for the word that you have given unto us. May you help us to honor our parents. May you help us to be obedient so that, Lord, you may bless our lives because we want to be the best in this world and to know that that blessing is ours in Jesus' name. We thank you and we honor your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. You are the blessed of the Lord. Thank you. Obey the word of the Lord, and the Lord will keep on blessing you. See you, and have a lovely weekend.